Hello and welcome back to my channel guys, I'm your host Nobody and today we're going back to Instruments of Destruction. So in the last episode I ended up making the Sonic Hammer which was actually pretty damn destructive. You can see right there, yeah, and a little glitchy as well, but you know what, it was pretty damn fun. So in today's episode I thought I would do a blast from the past and do Captain Hook Ship. Uh, definitely a lot of fond memories for me and I'm sure a lot of you as well. I really only have seen one other ship on the workshop this entire time this game has been out and I thought I would give it a try. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be anywhere as destructive as this little guy, but uh, we're going to do our best. And with nothing else to talk about, let's go ahead and get into the build.
And here we go, guys. I finally got it done. Now, this creation actually was a little bit more difficult than what I initially thought it would be. I had to do a lot of optimization. You can kind of see that in the back of these cells where I really had to cut down the parts. I was actually touching the uh, build limit in this game a few times. And if we look up here right now, we can see we're at 1,478 parts out of 1,500 total. Now, if we go ahead and look at the back of uh, Captain Hook's ship, you can see it kind of has like a gold skull, you know, with the eyebrows brows, the eyes, and things of that nature. This is kind of the result of that. Uh, it was actually the best attempt that I could possibly do, especially within the part limit, but I think I got the uh, the concept there. Uh, the gold rails are probably my favorite part about this model here, uh, where they, they just stick out so well. And then the actual whole shape. I think I really nailed down the, uh, the base of what a ship should be like. Uh, the slope part was definitely a lot smoother before I added these panels, but, you know, it, for the consistency's sake, I had to add them. Now, we can see normally there would have been a skull kind of hanging off the front of this uh, ship, but that's just something that I could not do within that part limit, but it was supposed to be somewhere around here. So let's go ahead and take this guy to another map and see what he can do. All right, guys, and here we go. My favorite map, Structural Zoo number one. So the first thing that we need to do is there is gyros inside of this thing. To keep them stabilized upright, we have to hit G, and that activated. There's really no uh, signal to kind of tell you whether it's activated or not, other than to just turn. You can see we almost flip, and then we right ourselves again. So unlike the movie where this ship actually could fly, uh, I just did not have the parts to actually get that done. So instead, I ended up putting tracks down here at the bottom, and uh, I pretty much have the same effect. I'm really happy happy with how this thing steers you turn the mass themselves uh, turn as well you can see with the different directions but the movement of this ship it really looks like it's in water now if you know anything about this game you would know that the water physics are actually almost non-existent if we actually try to take this ship into the water it'll immediately be meted with a lot of uh, drag here and almost immediately stop and that's about all we can do there is no buoyancy uh, in this game so far so the ship just sinks now this is actually a very very simple creation it doesn't do much, so let's go ahead and just go broadside to these buildings and hit E, and there we go. We have our cannons, and they are quite destructive. Uh, we can just kind of drive down the uh, the line here, and everything in its path is basically dead. So we can do that from both sides. But almost every building has been brought down to its knees due to these uh, cannons here. We have a few left, so let's go ahead and try to get broadside with these other buildings. I think that's looking pretty good, and here we go for the demolition. And yes, uh, absolute carnage with this thing. And there goes the last of the buildings. Beautiful. Now, aside from the just overall aesthetics of the ship, the way this thing handles is by far the most realistic of any ship in this thing that I have ever seen. It really does have the feel of going over waves in the rough seas. But that's really all I have for today's episode, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. And if you're new to the channel, also consider subscribing. Yes, I'm a very small YouTuber, and it does help me out tremendously. And with that, guys, I will see you all in the next one.